hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so today um is march 13th and i decided i'm gonna come and kind of do a little bit of a um crochet hook haul um i have so many crochet hooks. Um, this is one of my cases that I have hooks in. Um, and I'll be doing like a haul slash review. So, yeah, I have a few different hooks. Um, these are some um, Lion Brand bamboo hooks. Um, I have a Furls. I think this was the Capricorn. And this is in the size K. I don't use it often, but when I do, I like it. Um, these are a few. I have a few of the boy plastic hooks. I have another case as well um, that has some of my other hooks in it. Um, for the most part, all of my hooks that I have, they are boy hooks. Um, so I have crochet hooks everywhere you guys um, this is another little case that I keep hooks in and needles these here are some doubled in um, crochet hooks and they have their different sizes on each end um, so I don't use these much I actually got these with the case but I you know threw other things in here um, let's see I also have a few Susan Bates hooks as well. Um, let's see. These are some more boy um, crochet hooks with the glitter in them. That's just some of them um, there. And yeah. So, I love, love, love getting new crochet hooks, new accessories or tools to use. Um, and same with knitting as well. I have a lot of knitting needles. Um, but yeah, this is my case. I have to go back in and refill, um, put some of my hooks back <laughs> where they belong. These are the little small steel hooks. I've had this case for a very, very long time. So, um, recently, um, like over the last week or so, I ordered some new crochet hooks as if I need more, um, but I did because I wanted to try these out. So I got two different sets. Um, so I ordered these from Timu. So I got these here. And I actually pulled two of them out because um, I'm trying to, you know, work on them or work with them and see how, um, you know, they feel and get a good feel for them. So these range from a C hook, which is a 2.5 millimeter. Um, no, I'm sorry, a B, um, which is a 2 millimeter, all the way up to. I think the biggest size I had in here was a J. Yeah, which is the six millimeter. So from a two millimeter to a six millimeter. Those are the sizes that I have in this pack here. Um, this next pack. Which are, sorry, which are these here. I'm still dropping hooks. Um, this goes from a two millimeter to a six millimeter as well. Um, I have kind of worked with these a little bit, um, and I will be doing that um, in just a second to kind of give you guys a review on these hooks. Um, now, in the beginning, you know, when I first started crocheting and stuff, um, I was just using the regular hooks without um, 
a handle and I've used different things over the years um, I got these little cushions here you can put on your hooks these are actually pencil grips this was an idea that I got from I think it was Yolanda Soto Lopez I think it was an idea that I got from her or either another youtuber I could be wrong but yeah, I've tried different things. Um, I even practiced making a clay hook. I don't know what I was doing with this one, but I was determined to try out something with it. So this is my um, clay hook that I've used. I think this is an eye. Yeah, this is an eye crochet hook. I actually got this one from Target. And I forget the brand that it was but I got it from Target um, I just wanted to buy a little cheap hook to you know practice with that but I haven't practiced with clay in a while um, so yeah so yeah I was on the site on on the app on Simu just looking around um, because I, I don't think I've I've ordered craft supplies but not like crochet hooks or yarn or anything like that before from them so um this here is a little granny square that i started it's actually going to be a granny square blanket and first let me say these hooks um i love the grip part of it like the handle part here is not round it is flat and it has, you know, different little spots that have like these little ridges in it. And then this little ridge here on top where your thumb is or lays. So I love these so far. Um, now I will say when I first started using this, and it could have just been the yarn too. But I did feel like it was snagging at first. But like I said, it could have been my yarn that I was using because I had another yarn that I had um, started practicing with these. But yeah, I love these. I love the length of the hook itself in my hand um, for these. Because sometimes, you know, you have shorter hooks. And it might hit you like about there and it can kind of press into your hand. But overall, I love the length of these. And so far, it's working pretty smooth. Now, this is the J hook. Um, I'm going to go down a little smaller and just see. How things are let's see let's try I'm gonna try my G I'm gonna do my G yeah. yeah so so far these are working smoothly and I'm glad I got them honestly all right so um i have another project that i'm going to be showing or working with my other hooks with because like i said this one is just a granny square and it will eventually be a blanket so yeah, I 100% love these particular hooks. They do remind me of another brand that I have seen. I can't think of the name of them right now, but it will probably come to me soon. And I'll probably see if I can find um, the picture or a name of these. But um, And I think I've seen them in Hobby Lobby, if I'm not mistaken, or on Amazon. Um but yeah, this is though these particular hooks, they remind me of these other ones that I'm thinking of. Alright, so um I have here this is a half double crocheted square. Um I 
that I'm working on. I've been making a lot of these for scraps. I'm going to take this hook out. And let's see, I was working with the eye hook. So, let's see. I'm going to grab my eye hook here. Now, these are shorter in length, and I can tell with my hand. These, these are definitely shorter. And also these are, they are kind of round, but then they start to flatten out here like on the top portion of the hook. If you can see that there. So with these, however, um, the only thing I do wish they were a little bit longer. And also, I don't know, I kind of feel my yarn wanting to kind of, well actually, kind of catching or splitting my yarn with these. yarn here a little bit so yeah but other than that I mean I like the feel of the hook itself in my hand other than you know lengthwise I wish it was longer and then with it you know kind of catching that's the only thing that I kind of can critique <laughs> I guess um But other than that, I mean, it gets the job done. Yeah. And I am doing a half double crochet in this particular stitch. Um, I'm going to just do a couple of double crochets to see how it works. Because I haven't done a double crochet yet. And we're going to go back down to a half double crochet. Yep, it's, it's catching. And then single crochet. Let's see how. Yeah. Yeah, it's not too bad. It could just be the just that half double crochet stitch. It's just wanting to catch with me. But yeah, um, like I said, overall. I like both of these, but, you know, I just wanted to come and share um, my thoughts on these hooks as well. Um, and my other hooks that I have, I, I never really know what hook I'm going to use from day to day. Um, like I said, I have these plastic hooks. Um, sometimes I use these for a project. And sometimes I don't. And I choose to use my other ones. Um, but I, I will say overall, I do prefer the metal um, hooks over the plastic ones um, that I have. That's just my, my preference, but I always use these, um, even as backups or whatnot, you know, I have on hand or if I'm traveling somewhere and I don't want to set, you know, anything off with my other hooks, I just take these just in case. Um, so yeah, so that was my little review on my newest crochet hooks that I have purchased um, like I said these are longer than these here 
So depending on the size of your hand or what your preference is, you may choose one of these over the other. Um, so I'm hoping I will have these for a while. Um, they seem, you know, pretty sturdy in the handle. So yeah. So I'm gonna put everything here back up and you guys stay tuned. I have a few more things that I have ordered um, over the last few weeks and I want to come and share those things with you. Um, I haven't really been making a whole lot of things here lately, um, especially like over the last couple of days. I've kind of been um, not really in a rut, but not really feeling good. Um, so that's kind of um, slowed my momentum down a little bit. Um, so I've just been trying to rest and um, kind of find myself, you know, getting back into the groove of things. But um, yeah, I do pray and hope that you guys enjoy this review and um, look forward to seeing completed projects here soon um, but you guys have a lovely and blessed day and I will see you guys later